guys, it's Taylor. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am here to bring a response video to something that Katrina from Little Book Owl posted. Uh, I think it's a couple weeks ago. I know she's participating in Vita, which is video every day in April, and one of her videos was her talking about her feelings on DNFing books. And I kind of had a response that I wanted to film and instead of leaving it in the comment and leaving like a paragraph or page and a half of response, I figured I would make a video and talk about my thoughts on DNFing books. While I do usually try to push through reading a book because I hate feeling like I'm giving up on something that somebody worked so hard for, if I can't get myself to read it, to pick it up and to finish it, then I will usually let it sit in my little DNF file on Goodreads and then maybe in six months I'll pick it back up and if I still don't feel that way then I will actually DNF it and leave it in that folder on my Goodreads. It's a shelf not a folder. I will leave it on my DNF shelf on Goodreads. Now like I said I absolutely hate, I absolutely hate DNFing books. Um, it is that feeling of giving up like I said earlier but I can't make myself read something that I'm not enjoying. I feel like I have been doing that a lot lately, but I find myself when I do that, I throw myself into reading slumps and I don't, I hate reading slumps. They're awful. And because I feel like I feel more happy when I'm reading, it's kind of my escape, like it is everybody else's on booktube. But I know the most recent one that I don't feel bad about DNFing was actually Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I bought that book with the intention of reading it before seeing the movie. And I think I got maybe 50, 75 pages in. And I just set it down and I would try to pick it up every couple weeks and I just couldn't do it. I know I had that on my TBR for a while and I just, I don't know, something about that book. I just could not get into it. Now, this is the one time that I do plan on making a booktube sin of seeing the movie before reading the book. And I do kind of feel a little bad about it, but at the same time I don't. Because I tried to read the book, I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I absolutely, absolutely hated it. And I don't want to say hate as in like, it's a bad story because so many people like it. I mean, it got optioned for a film, so it's not like it's a bad book and I hate it because of that. I, I hate it because it wasn't for me and I don't like that I had to DNF it, but at the same time, I wasn't going to make myself read a book that I wasn't enjoying. Now, I know a lot of people do the, there's a, I will go 50 to 100 to 150 pages in to see if I like a book. I will usually try to push through and I think the option of DNFing comes to mind too, too much for people where I feel like people just tend to give up on books without really giving them a chance because the beginning is slow and this happens especially in like the first book of series where the world building is so, so much a important part of the first book of a series. Like I know when I was reading, I think I was reading A Discovery of Witches and like the first, I want to say maybe 10 chapters was a lot more world building than story. But that book is one of my favorite books of all times. And I'm currently reading Shadow of Night, which is the second book in the series. And it's kind of like they've had to start over and do more world building where I find myself having a hard time getting into it because of the world building. But there is a, when you have to do more world building, it seems to take a little longer for, for me in particular to get into a book because I kind of just want to like dive in and have like character dialogue. I want to have action and I just want to have love triangles and all kinds of stuff like that in a book. But at the same time, I do love being able to visualize what's going on. And yeah, that's just kind of my little little rant uh, short video about DNFing books. Um, I don't like to do it, but if I absolutely feel like I have to, I will. Um, but I usually do like to try to let them sit for a little bit, sit and simmer before I actually 
will pick them up and decide to complete or to DNF. So yeah, that's just kind of my little thought and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!